Welcome to Comic Station, issue number 49 for December 4, 2013. And let's just start right off the bat. Inhumanity. Um, if you're not familiar with the Inhumans, you, you have Medusa as your main character in this. And it's basically... Um, Karnak finds out like a secret of the Inhumans and goes head to head with Avengers and... Yeah, they basically uh, try to suppress him because of what he's found out. And yeah, uh, Inhumanity, the Inhumans are kind of, they're, I mean, it's still Marvel, but the X-Men of the Avengers area. So they're kind of the mutants and they're right. getting kind of jumbled in there. So they're starting to bring... Like more adult type yeah. of X-Men. I mean, X-Men have some serious issues that they address, but... In, the Inhumans are more adult, like, themed, so. It's a good read. I do recommend it. It is, and you'll be seeing them a lot more prominent with Marvel's uh, long-term plans for their lineup. The next one, a little less serious note, is uh, Rover Red Charlie. This is from Avatar, and honestly, I picked it up because it had doggies on the front. Okay. And I can see that. <laughs> what you think is... Like, most people, once they see this cover, they're going to think zombies or anything, but it's not really zombies. It's more of, like, a madness apocalypse. Every Like, not everyone, but most people are going mad. They're just going crazy. They're either hurting themselves or hurting other people. And what I really like about this is the people, the humans, they kind of speak in a gar uh, garbled, just mess of words. And it's probably because they're dogs, but it may also be because they're crazy, and it doesn't really matter. It, I just really enjoyed that little thing. I really like the dogs, especially when you can tell they're barking when they're yelling, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. And I'm, it, a dog. It, it, I'm a dog! I'm a dog! <laughs> so it's really, it just, it's cute, but it's nice, and it, it's a nice... And it's still stuff. serious. Like, Ser it's cute, yeah. and it's nice, but it's also, there's still serious stuff going on. And So I thought this was a really fun read, especially with the apocalypse being a little overdrawn lately in comic books, and... I thought it was a nice new take, so I'm looking forward to seeing the next issue on this. And It's just fun. It's interesting, and it has dogs. Here's something also that was a little different. This is from IDW. It is Dead World Restoration. Um, this was, I picked it up, and I'm like, okay, here's another zombie comic. All right, and then open it, open it up, and uh, that's what it appears to be from, you know, your first page or two, but after that, it dramatically changes, and you find that there's not only zombies and zombies versus humans, but there's also lepers involved. There are humans that are jumping into switching dead... Switching bodies. Yeah, and switching and bodies, men and women's bodies, and, you know, getting into dead bodies and going to zombie bodies, and then there are new creatures that you've never seen before that are just stripping off their flesh to show that they have no pain. And it's really... It, raw, visceral, like, artwork. It I is, and I really too. enjoyed that about it. It kind of went right from it being, you know, this run-of-the-mill zombie thing into something that was almost very, like, Clive Barker-inspired, and I, I'm a big fan of that and the visuals, so I really <laughs> like this almost black and white, mostly sepia, mm -hmm. and really the only prominent color that you get out of it is red, so I, I would recommend this. It's a little bit slow on the read, um, but if you are willing to get into that and you like a little bit more fantasy mixed in with your overtones of zombie, then this would be for you. It's great for the holiday season. Mm-hmm. Stocking stuff. Bonus comics. Bonus comics. Uh, DCU versus Masters of the Universe. Uh, on you the get cover, a great picture. On mm -hmm. the cover is awesome. It's Tila versus Wonder Woman, which is actually the initial draw to this, um, this line of comics. I don't know if, you know, the, like, the first thing that they were saying about this was that you were going to get to see them fight, and you finally get to see them finally fight. Finally get to it. <laughs> so, they did some in the last two, awesome. but it's, it's on the cover. It's going to happen. Yes. And my bonus little comic is actually a very big comic. This is Star-Lord. This is just uh, a collection. They did a similar thing with Thor and a bunch of other characters. Mm -hmm. That they collect a whole bunch of the old comics. Especially, uh, in particular, the first two-thirds, maybe actually more, is all black and white. They're the older comics. And then about late in the later half, and near the end, it gets into the old like 80s style of artwork. And it, 
it's just interesting to read some of the backstory. If you've been reading the Guardians of the Galaxy and you wanted to have a little bit more backstory on some of the uh, adventures and the old Star Lord, then this is a nice little thing on here. And of course, they're leading up towards Guardians of the Galaxy movie. But the big thing that I really liked about this is that the back of this comic it teases that they're gonna do one at the end for Rocket Raccoon, and I like Rocket Raccoon. I'm really excited. It's a raccoon with a giant it's rocket adorable. launcher. I can't help it. Can't beat it. Adorable and badass. I got no bonus for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> no. Instead, we have Starfire. Starfire. Awesome. And I. Starfire from the new 52. And I wanted to show this one because one, it's a very just really nice bust. And he wants to tease me because he knows I want it. And that was the so real main re reason. It's a really main nice reason. bust. Very. <laughs> Those defy gravity right there. They do. She's from space. She's there's no gravity. Gra there. No gravity in space. It's fine. <laughs> Tamarinians defy gravity altogether. Uh, they fly. You know, it's a really beautiful statue. I feel kind of dirty, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> the main reason I picked this up was really just to tease her because she was staring at this and wanted to buy it and she didn't get it. That's so. actually when I first came into the comic station. That's one of the first things that caught my eye in the store amongst everything else. I think all the color in it and the detail just makes it gorgeous. You it's very starfire. Yeah, and it's eye catching. They you even get the hair is really just it flows into the fire and it's really well done. Uh, just that detail. So if you can. Uh, not be ashamed of putting this on your, uh, you shouldn't be in public. Just, yeah, display just it. it. Be proud. It's <laughs> really, it's a nice it, it is really nice. So, but I enjoyed it. And we're just going to tease Teeny right here. And It'll be mine someday. Someday. And <laughs> we have the reviews. I love you. I love you very much, thank you. Hey, we got mail today. Oh, awesome. What do we get? What do we get? Uh huh. Here's yours. And oh. This one's oh. Oh. Awesome package. Very cool. From, from Monstrous. Monstrous Apparel. They are our New Jersey <laughs> local <laughs> friends. Oh, I got a t shirt. Awesome. Me too. Looks like it is the Jersey Devil with. Nipple rings. He's a kinky guy. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so nice much. Guys. And you gave us both a comic and some stickers. Especially love this New Jersey zombie nice. brains one. Is totally cool. Thank you guys so much. And um, our friends over at Monsters Power were generous enough to also donate an extra prize pack. So if you guys would like a prize pack as well. Uh, comment on the video below and let us know what your favorite horror or even New Jersey horror themed character is and why you like them so much. So don't forget to check out MonstersApparel.com. Thank you. Thanks. And now we have some reviews from Lido, the first of which is The Mocking Dead number four. So he read through this and as we have shown this on the show before and I know he's reviewed the other ones. He originally thought that number four might have been getting a little better, however there's still no improvement and the main character is still dragging down the whole series. Yeah, the main character is just, it, it's a parody and he's just not rubbing off right. Not cutting his snuff. No. The, sh the next comic we have is The Shadow Now. It's number three. Uh, Shadow Now is basically the shadow and he's in modern times. The seeds of an interesting story is laid, but it's kind of buried under all the clutter, the scenes and the artwork, and it just kind of seems thrown together. So unfortunately, it's very unconnected, otherwise it would have been an interesting story. And Battle, Battlestar Galactica number six, uh, Lito says that this is the Battlestar Galactica comic that he has been waiting for it, uh, to see for a long time. Um, his only complaints is that uh, the art is solid but not stellar and he wanted more that's not a bad thing if you want more from no. it the that's occultist good. number three continues to just go down the tube the first one had potential the second one kind of kept hope alive and the third one Lido's finally lost interest uh sliver of hope still remains but really hopes kind of died 
the great artwork really can't save the unengaging protagonist and just the weird storyline. Just drug addled, supposed to be a hero, but he's not really doing anything. It's just not going along well. And of course, a favorite from Leto is Catalyst Comics number six. And of course, you know I'm being sarcastic because he does not like this series. However, number six may have finally called its way up to being mediocre. So he's very uh, kind on his words there. And he ends his review going, The artwork is passable, is suffering from poor coloring. The stories are okay for the most part. And there's overall less to hate than the previous installments. <laughs> okay. So you can tell that's a favorite of his. <laughs> Alright, uh, this has been Comic Station issue number 49 for December 4th. I hope you enjoyed, again, the commercial. Again, leave your comment below. Be entered to get a free t-shirt and a goodie bag and some comics. Everything from Monstrous. They're a really great company. We're happy to be working with them. And look forward to more. And we'll, hopefully we'll be doing something for the holiday season coming up. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.